Guys, Ryan Bidoff here. How do you get past one of the most wicked blocks for any blogger? Me included. Old school me. New school me. It's moved in a different direction. But the old school me really had a problem with this block. And number one, you have to identify and be honest about it. And number two, you have to learn how to dissolve it. And what is this block? Why, it's the comparison curse. It's looking at the results of other bloggers from your niche, maybe not from your niche, looking at their traffic results, uh, especially financial results, how much money they make, overall fame, popularity. You know, if you're struggling to get featured on any old blog, and if you look at somebody else's blog and see they've been featured on maybe, I don't know, Virgin and Forbes and Huffington Post and Entrepreneur, and I just had to say that, joking around, because those are the places I've been featured. And you might be like, that is so be. You know, I'm so jelly of them. And you're not talking about a type of jam that you put on top of toast. Jelly meaning jealous. And it's the comparison curse. It's a huge block that so many bloggers suffer from. Even if you're not jealous, if you just outright look at somebody else's blog and you say to yourself, you know, why the heck do they make that much money? And why do I make such little money through my blog? Why am I making nothing? Or... Why do they get so much traffic? Look at how successful they are. They're lucky. They're blessed. They're connected. Anytime you look at somebody outside of yourself, another blogger, and you compare yourself to them, you're handcuffing yourself. You're going to cut your creativity. You're going to stunt your growth. You're just going to struggle like hell. Because anytime you look at someone else, compare them to you, you're demeaning yourself in simple terms. <laughs> you're basically looking at them and being like, they have what I can't have. The quickest way to, to get over the comparison curse, that idea of, you know, well, I'm not doing good. I'm not doing well. They're doing so much better than me. I'm better than them. That's another bad comparison. You know, I'm really elite to these other bloggers. <clears throat> or I'm just average. I'm just like everybody else who's, you know, really average in my niche. Is to realize that you are whole and complete. Energetically, you are everything. Just based on being alive. Based on breathing. You are deserving. You're whole and complete. You are the best you that's ever existed. Because you are here to walk your blessed, unique, sensationally brilliant path. Unlike anyone else that's ever existed. Not just through blogging, through life. And the more you dwell on these ideas and you look at these folks who have such fascinating journeys, you're going to start seeing that the quickest way to walk your awesome path is to just walk your awesome path and not to look at anybody else and to compare and if you see somebody else that's having success just celebrate it and be like wow that's awesome you know we're all connected anyway so you're really celebrating your own success that's another great way to get over the comparison curse but more than anything it's just to look at your path and be like how beautiful it's been this is the way I'm taking doesn't matter what other people are doing the universe is the source of my wealth you know, you don't depend on people or conditions, stuff going on around you. You go within. And that's where everything is growing. That's where everything is expanding more quickly than you could ever imagine. But you have to walk your path, guys. This is such a simple lesson, but it's the most difficult to learn in life, let alone blogging, not to compare. Everybody has their own journey. The more you're true to you, your blogging and your authentic voice, you're just being you're going to find that you're not going to compare yourself to anybody anymore. And if other people are having just stunning success, you're going to be like, that's awesome. You're going to celebrate it. You're going to be so happy for them. And they're going to look at your life, and you'll look at it if you're speaking a little more slowly, and you'll simply marvel at your own success. You have a blog. You're alive. You have 10 visitors a day. You're going to be grateful to have this medium, grateful to find this video. Grateful to get this awesome message when you needed it. And the more you just get caught up entirely with your just being and deserving and feeling whole and complete and like you are awesome and everything is so good right now, you will 
gradually cease comparing yourself with other people. Largely. I mean, not entirely. We all do this because we go in mind sometimes and say, oh, let me see, how am I doing? But literally, guys, you will be so focused on just taking your path, just being, living your journey, that you won't care any longer what other people are doing, if other people are succeeding, if they're failing. You'll just be so focused on being you and being authentic and having fun, following your fun with your blog. Like I say, follow your fun, blog your fun, blog your fun. We'll be talking about all day long, blog about it. All your energy be devoted to that and then helping other people you're connecting with, like-minded people who love what you're saying through your blog. So guys, focus on your path. Everybody's journey is so different and so delicious. Believe you me, the more you do that, the more you're just being, the more you're following your fun, you're gonna write in your voice you are going to be a one of a gazillion blogger, not even billion, and you're just not going to compare yourself to other people. And unless you compare yourself to other bloggers, their results, what they're doing, the more you're going to succeed because you're going to take that one path that's going to make you shine so brightly that the sun's going to need glasses to see you. Well, I don't know. Funny analogy. Guys, that's it for today. Share this video, and I think I'll put this one on the HuffPost. Yeah, I think so. And blog post across all your social networks. Until next time, you know what to do next, guys. Stop comparing. Your path is brilliant. Your path is beautiful. Nobody's ever taken it before. Enjoy the ride, and enjoy paradise.